This sign means a divided highway ends, b one way traffic ahead, c two way traffic ahead, d keep to the right, d keep to the right. This sign indicates that you must keep to the right of the upcoming divider. When driving on roads that may be slippery. A. Always drive at the maximum speed limit. B. Use cruise control to maintain a steady speed. C. Reduce your following distance. D. Do not make any sudden changes in speed or direction. D. Do not make any sudden changes in speed or direction. You should avoid making any sudden changes in speed or direction when driving on a slippery surface. Reduce your speed on slippery roads and do not use cruise control. You are driving on the roadway and hear a siren behind you. You should A. Stop where you are. B. Pull over to the right and stop. C. Speed up to get out of the way. D. Slow down. B. Pull over to the right and stop. When you hear the siren or see the flashing lights of an emergency vehicle coming from behind your vehicle, you must create a clear path for the emergency vehicle and stop. Reduce your speed and safely pull over to the side of the road. If the emergency vehicle is directly behind your vehicle when you are in heavy traffic, Keep moving slowly until you can get out of its way. This sign means A. Continue at your current speed. B. You must stop ahead. C. Speeding is not allowed. D. There is a traffic signal ahead. D. There is a traffic signal ahead. This sign indicates that there is a traffic signal ahead. Want to ace your DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. A stop sign is shaped like A, N, A, rectangle, B, square, C, circle. D. Octagon. D. Octagon. An octagonal shape is used only for stop signs. All eight sided signs tell drivers to come to a complete stop before proceeding. A. No standing sign at a certain location means A. You may never stop your vehicle there. B. You may park there if the driver remains in the vehicle. C. You may stop temporarily only to pick up or discharge passengers. D. You may stop to load or unload merchandise. C. You may stop temporarily only to pick up or discharge passengers. A. No standing sign means that you may only make a temporary stop to load or discharge passengers. While driving, you come upon a sign displaying the words reduced speed 35 miles per hour. This means a that the new 35 miles per hour speed limit begins at this sign. b that the new 35 miles per hour speed limit begins at the next speed limit sign. c that you have plenty of time to slow down before the reduced speed zone. D. That you should reduce your speed to 35 miles per hour, but only under poor weather conditions. A. That the new 35 miles per hour speed limit begins at this sign. Reduced speed signs inform drivers that they must reduce their speeds. If a new speed limit is posted on one of these signs, the new speed limit begins at the sign. As you near an intersection, 
the traffic light changes from green to yellow. Your best action is to a. Speed up to beat the red light. b. Apply the brakes sharply to stop. c. Be prepared to stop in the center of the intersection. d. Be prepared to stop before the intersection. d. Be prepared to stop before the intersection. A steady yellow traffic light indicates that the light will soon change to red. You should be prepared to stop for the red light, if it is safe to do so. When a traffic signal light turns green, you should a. Yield the right of way to pedestrians. b. Accelerate as quickly as possible. c. Back up slowly. d. Not move until another driver waves you on. a. Yield the right of way to pedestrians. A green light tells you that you can go through the intersection. However, you must first yield the right of way to traffic and pedestrians who are still in the intersection. A driver entering public traffic from a driveway or private road. A. Has the right of way. B. Should yield to drivers already on the public road. C. May force their way into traffic. D. Can assume that other drivers will change lanes to make room. B. Should yield to drivers already on the public road. If you are entering traffic from a driveway or private road, you should yield to drivers already on the public road. Merge safely into traffic when you are able to do so. What color are pavement markings that separate traffic lanes moving in opposite direction? A. Yellow. B. White. C. Yellow and white. D. Yellow, white, and black. A. Yellow. Yellow lines are used in the center of the road to separate lanes of traffic moving in opposite directions. This sign shows one type of A. Intersection. B. Road curve. C. Right turn. D. Lane change. A. Intersection. This sign indicates that an intersection with a crossing road is ahead. Emergency vehicles. A. Have the right of way when using sirens, horns, and or flashing lights. B. May use a loudspeaker to give instructions. C. May follow each other. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. You must yield the right of way to police cars, fire engines, ambulances, or any other emergency vehicles using a siren or air horn and a red or blue flashing light. Follow any instructions given over the emergency vehicle's loudspeakers. Emergency vehicles often follow each other so you should proceed only when you are certain the way is clear. As a pedestrian, you should a. Always insist on the right of way over a vehicle when using a crosswalk. b. Never enter a street or crosswalk when vehicles are approaching. c. Enter a crosswalk at any time because it is the vehicle driver's responsibility to stop. d. Use crosswalks only if they are convenient. b. Never enter a street or crosswalk when vehicles are approaching. Pedestrians should not enter a street or crosswalk when vehicles are approaching. Though pedestrians have the right of way in crosswalks, a vehicle approaching from a close distance may not have the time to stop before entering the crosswalk. This road sign means A. Intersection ahead. B. Steep grade ahead. C. Winding road. D. Merging traffic. B. 
steep grade ahead. This sign indicates that a steep downhill grade is ahead. Consuming which of the following substances may impair your ability to drive safely and may result in an arrest for driving under the influence of intoxicants DUII. A. Beer, wine, and other liquor. B. Controlled substances, such as illegal drugs or prescription medicines. C. Inhalants, such as glue or paint. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. A wide variety of intoxicants can impair your ability to drive. These include all types of alcoholic beverages, illegal drugs, inhalants, and many legal medications, both prescription and over the counter. Increase your following distance when A. Driving behind a large vehicle that blocks your vision. B. Exiting an expressway. C. Following a motorcycle. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. You should increase your following distance when you are behind a large vehicle that blocks your vision. When driving in bad weather or heavy traffic. When exiting an expressway. When behind a motorcycle or bicycle. And if someone is tailgating you. Which of the following about winter driving is not true? A. Winter is the most difficult driving season. B. Checking your vehicle's antifreeze and windshield washer fluid levels is especially important during the winter. C. Using cruise control in winter weather is a safe thing to do. D. It is best to use snow tires on your vehicle. C. Using cruise control in winter weather is a safe thing to do. You should not use cruise control on snow, in rain, in fog, or under similar hazardous conditions. Winter is the most difficult driving season and requires extra caution from drivers. It is important to consistently check your antifreeze and windshield washer fluid levels. Using snow tires can increase a vehicle's traction on the surface of slippery roads. Regulatory signs. A. Are placed in every location where there is a present danger. B. Indicate what a driver must or must not do. C. Are diamond shaped and yellow or green. D. May warn drivers that they are approaching a school zone. B. Indicate what a driver must or must not do. Regulatory signs are often rectangular and white with black markings and are used to indicate what things a driver must or must not do in a designated area. They may display speed limits, prohibit passing or turning, or clarify any other driving regulation. When two vehicles arrive to an intersection at the same time, which one has the right of way when no signs or signals indicate rules? A. The car approaching from the right has the right of way. B. The car approaching from the left has the right of way. C. The car in which the driver sounds his horn first has the right of way. D. The car that is traveling the fastest has the right of way. A. The car approaching from the right has the right of way. At an intersection of two similar roads without a traffic control device, a driver must yield to a vehicle approaching from the right. 